Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at the sticky note feature on Canva Whiteboard. Now as an organisation we've been using Jamboard previously for this but with that being sunsetted we're now looking at alternative and this is a great option. So for us if we're going to sign into our Canva account with our school accounts we're going to click on Whiteboard so the teacher can do this to create a new Whiteboard. So when they open this up, there are going to be lots of options you can see down the left hand side. We're not looking at many of these today, some are quite obvious, but we're just going to be looking at sticky notes. One of the first things you want to do though is name your whiteboard, otherwise it's just going to be called um, untitled. So I'm going to call this my training whiteboard. And then I'm going to click on elements and right at the top of elements you can see sticky notes and there's all different colours. So I can click on one of these colors and then once that's in, I can begin to add my text. If I do this, I can then change the color. I can change the font, etc., uh, depending on how I want it to look. If I want to add more sticky notes to my page, I can just duplicate this like so, or I can use these plus arrows to then add in a new one and that will place it around. So I can do this, as you can see, it's keeping it nice and tidy. When I'm doing this, you can also see my name is at the bottom of the sticky note. If I want to take my name off, I can right click on this and one of the options is to remove name. If a student does this, there's no way of telling what their name was. It will be just whoever then adds their name back in. With the sticky note, there are some other options here where comments can be left. So this is a great way of further collaborating on what somebody else has added to the, the whiteboard. You can see the little pen icon there so you can view comments. Also though, if I click on here, I can see emojis. So if we want to respond to other people's sticky notes, if we're approving of them, for example, or love them, we can click that in and say duplicating and deleting and the other options here you can see. You can lock them if you want to so that other people can't move them around the board. One of the other things you can do is select them and sort them. So you can see the sort option here and that could be by topic, color or name. At the moment they don't have a name, they're all the same color. So if I do topic, it's gonna sort these and it will use AI to try and work out what those are but for example, if I added another one in here, we're going to change some different colors or I went over to the elements and added some different options and then went in, selected these ones and then sorted by color. It's going to sort them all differently as you can see there. So it's a great way of doing this. Remember, you can zoom in and out if you wanted to. Now, we're talking about how we're going to collaborate on this. So obviously sharing is a very important feature. We can click share here, and then we have a few different options. With the collaboration link, I can click on here and I can share it with my domain or with anyone with the link. And if I do this, I'll click on here and it's going to give me a link. I can choose whether they edit, comment or view. So I can copy that link and I could share it with a wider group. But if I'm using Google Classroom, I can click Google Classroom. It's going to open up an option to choose the class I want to choose. I click on that, add the action and assign it in the classroom. Again, just going to add the same kind of information we would normally add here as well. So now that's posted, I can view this in my classroom. So we can see here. So if we go into a different student view in classwork, we can see it's posted here. I can click on the link and as long as I've got an account, I can go in and edit this. So again, I can click on the elements and click here to add my note. And as you can see, there's a different name there at the bottom. So this is a great way to continue with collaboration and ideation, whether in the classroom or across the trust using Canva whiteboard sticky notes.